Hello and welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley Reddit Review. So, uh, I think it's the first one of this year. At least, first one I recorded in this year. You might have seen uh, the previous one uploaded recently. I recorded it last year. So let's see what are, what are people's thoughts and impressions for the new year. Maybe I'll get some nice cool design ideas again. Oh my god. Finally fulfilled my dream of turning the meadow into a farm. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Look at this. All the trees. I like how he mixed mixed them up. I, I actually have them in the same row. Like the same kind of tree in one row. But but here it's they're like all messed up. Not messed up. Mismatched. And it looks pretty cool. I, I, I kind of like this idea. I, I don't know if I'm willing to turn the entire biome in just farm. But I definitely want to have a farm. I haven't decided which biome to have it yet. Wow, I think I think Meadows though is better for like living in. And I would probably turn something like uh uh the uh the muddy place. God damn it. Why keep I forgetting the names of the biomes? So basically, any, any other one, Sunlit Plateau, maybe uh, the Glade of Trust, one of those. But for for I have I have good place for my uh, good plans for my meadow, my bathroom so far, but I don't have the toilet yet. I don't have a bathtub yet, and it looks like you don't have a sink, which I do now. I just got it recently. Nice. I love the lights, and like it looks so dark, but there's also this blue light looks pretty sick yeah you need a sink there's actually a sink that matches this bathtub i i hope i hope i'm gonna get this bathtub soon so i can make my own bathroom ddv is a great example of how developers can never win i can't imagine how annoying it must be as a developer to give people what they asked for only for the people to them to complain about what they asked for the number of people i saw complaining that the halloween scarf date wasn't enough because they blasted through it too quickly and completed it too fast they add three characters this time. Add a mini quest and make it so you literally can uh, speedrun Stitches quests and people still complain because now they have to wait. <laughs> That's true. That's true. People never know what they want. But to be fair, I'm, I'm going to give you my opinion. Uh, when we see a lot of comments, it doesn't mean that everybody wants to see certain features. There is always going to be two camps on pretty much any issue. One camp is gonna love it, one camp is gonna hate it. So, uh, one camp was complaining that they completed the update too fast, the other camp was sitting quiet because they liked it. And then when they fix things, now it's the other plan uh, camp com complaining. So you can exactly, I completely agree with the name of this post. Developers can never win. You will never be able to make 100% of the player base happy. Because the other half is always gonna not, I mean, not always. Some features probably everybody can agree on, but people are different. They have different play styles. They have different things they want to see in the game. So obviously you will not be able to make everybody happy. So what's the solution to this? Honestly, I don't know. Maybe developers have their own idea and they should follow that idea and hope that most of the people will support it. Or maybe try to make polls where... Uh, you don't just listen to the comments because again, the comment section will always be complaining. Most of the people will not write a comment to say, yes, good job. But most of the people will write a comment saying, I do not like this. So that's why we need a poll that will give opportunity to both sides to voice their opinion. And whoever wins, whichever side has a more player base behind it, that should be the feature implemented. So... That's just my opinion, but I completely agree with this post. I think it would be nice to add on if, if you buy an item with this from the store, it gives you a pop-up saying, you already own this item. Are you sure you want to buy it again? It would be very helpful. I agree. I agree. Uh, to be fair, I don't mind too much because I'm, I'm, I like having multiple of every item. So whenever I need to decorate, I know that I have everything I need. And buying it from the store actually saves me one slot to, of, from buying from Scrooge. So I can use all 25 slots on Scrooge and buy everything in the store. I buy everything in the store every day 
no matter what it is, because it's just it just makes sense. That's that's the most end game thing you can do. And if even if I'm gonna have 20 of some item, probably eventually I'm gonna use it. And if not, at least I'll always know that I have it if I need it. So I agree that would be useful, but I would still keep buying every single item in the shop no matter what. Let me know in the comments if you agree. Why would they make this couch too big to fit here? I think because the it, it should fit perfectly fine in the other corner. Or if you have a room that uh, doesn't have uh, two doors. For example, if it's a, one of the side rooms that only has one door, then you have two perfect corners to put this couch in. So, and yeah, also the door is not centered, which is... I don't understand. You can see, like, it fits it, it, it fits on one side, but it doesn't fit on the other side, which is ridiculous. Uh, the door... Sh if the door was in the middle, it would fit perfectly. But to be fair, it still fits. You, you can find a way to fit it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. My village when I don't log in for two days. <laughs> Okay, come on. I, I don't clean my own night thorns, and it does take more than two days to actually see them be an issue. I would say two weeks. After two weeks of not cleaning them, you're gonna have 140 night thorns around your village. That's when you're gonna start to basically run into them all the time. But two days? Easy. Donald Duck's Seaside Buffet. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Coconut tree in the middle. I like it. And some pictures. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, we have those post posters of Donald. I need to... Oh, I'm gonna make something special for Donald. Maybe that will shut him up. So, some special cool project like this. Oh, that's amazing. I don't have any of these items. I'm sad. I was surprised to see fruit salad of all things was the top made meal. Uh, what meal do you think you make the most? For me, it's a Arendellian pickled herring. Definitely not that. <laughs> it, it's a five-star meal, and there is no point to make it unless you like feeding it to ravens or something. Um, I I do understand why it's a fruit salad because it's literally the first meal you will ever cook. I'm pretty sure it's even the part of the story. One of the first quests is to cook a fruit salad. Uh, also, people say if you put five gooseberries in it, you can get pretty much full. Full bar of stamina, like both gold and regular bar, which makes sense. And again, I think, I think it's a good, it's 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 a viable strategy. I don't think, however, that's why it's the most cooked meal. I think it's because uh, a lot of people think that cooking, for example, your fruits in the beginning, like I'm sure 90% of these fruit salads are just one single fruit in it, which makes no sense. It's just a complete waste of time. Maybe people are trying to get. Uh, their cooking memories or something like that, but I would only cook fruit salad if it has five fruits in it. And even then, I I prefer to cook meals that I can autofill, and you cannot autofill five fruit salad, so that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, I'm not surprised though. I I for me it's definitely gonna be pumpkin puffs. Absolutely hundred percent the most cooked meal. It used to be souffles, but now since they nerfed coal, I'm only doing pumpkin puffs. Because I harvest pumpkins and I might as well. And I'm probably soon gonna start cooking, stop cooking what together because I'm not mining for coal. As soon as I run out of coal, it's done. I'm, I'm only gonna cook for star path quests or for story quests. That's it. Peaceful Meadows entrance. My God, that's a brilliant idea to make some. To make this tree arch. I've seen these trees that are leaning one side. Every single biome has one. That's a brilliant... I'm gonna steal this. I'm sorry, Chantelli. I'm, I'm gonna definitely steal this idea for something. I moved Ursula to Glade of to Glade, and I have zero regrets. Exactly. That's that's what I'm gonna do as well. I, I, I've seen some people in my video... My latest... My last Reddit review. Uh, somebody showcased this design and people like, Yes! I'm moving Ursula as well. That, that just makes sense. I, I totally forget that uh, there is more water. Like, all the houses that has to be in water, they don't have to be on the beach. Like, I think I, I'm going to move Maui or Donald to the... Uh, there is a, like a giant lake in uh, in, San, in Sunlit Plateau. 
I think I'm gonna move one of them there. It just makes sense. Moana's house. Love it. Love it. My god, it's beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do something cool for Moana too. I, I think what what I did for her right now is just not good. I'm sorry, Moana girl. I'm gonna do better next time. Is it a bug? Or is Merlin supposed to be able to enter the other worlds? Seems weird that he would be there. Oh yeah, I always feel like if I have a villager hanging out with me, they cannot follow me to other biomes. So that is... That is pretty interesting bug. I finally finished all my storage rooms. 132 chests, 3300 softwood, and 3300 stones. All after the limit was added to Crystal Soul. Oof. Man. That's a lot of farming. That's a cool design. I'm gonna show my storage room soon. But it's a pretty cool design. I like it. Ooh, different themes. Wait, how... How many do you have? One, two, three... Whoa, five. My god. Now that's dedication. Or are you just crazy? One of, one of the two... I have one and I, I, I don't think I want more than that. I'm probably going to make a storage area outside because it's so much easier to store things outside. You don't have to go inside your house and then inside some room. Just make it outside. I'm probably going to dedicate like half of some biome to make a giant storage area. Tangled crafting table. What? I want this. How do you get this? Oh, nice. Tea party. That's a pretty nice looking meadow. I like it. Oh my god, this is Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon in Disney Dreamlight Valley. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Oh yeah, I, w I wish they let us design uh, like skirts separately. That would be so nice. <laughs> well done. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes, I've been doing some decorating today. I'm gonna I'm gonna share it soon. I so much. I wanted to place furniture at an angle so much. At least 45 degrees. Give us an opportunity to place item at 45 degrees. I understand it's gonna make it complicated to do the whole grid system, but Sims did it. They have a grid system and that you can rotate items 45 degrees. Please. It would be beautiful. It would make decorating so much more easier and make so much more intricate designs. Can we please stop getting seeds from Night Thorns? Oh my god, guys, you're speaking my mind right now. That's why I don't collect Night Thorns, because I always end up with a bunch of seeds clogging my inventory. But honestly, what's the alternative? Getting dream shards? Who, who needs dream shards? I would say give us coal. Since now, Kristoff cannot give us unlimited coal. Make it coal to be the most common drop from Night Thorns. At least then it, the Night Thorns are going to be useful. All right, guys. I think I think I'm done here. Uh, thank you so much for watching this week's Reddit review. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, don't forget to leave a like. And uh, if you have any opinions on what has been discussed in this video, please let me know in the comments as well. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe for more. Take care.